everybody. Welcome to Chatter with Miss Sandy. I hope everybody is doing really well. I've been thinking about you. So we are going to do Chatter online. Now, uh, first thing though is I can't find Bob. So I don't know, um, a camera person, can you help me out? Um, I think he's behind you. He's behind me? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bob. Uh, look nope. up a bit. I look up. Okay. Or to the left. To the left. Okay. Up and to the left. And oh my goodness, Bob, what are you doing up there? <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Sandy. Hi, Bob. Let's get you down from here. Oh my goodness. Oh, Bob. Ah, oh, your foot is caught. Oh. oh, now something else is caught. There we go. So, Bob, um, we are going to be doing chatter today. Chatter? I love chatter. I can't wait to see my friends. Oh, well, Bob, we're going to be uh, online today. So, you know, because of the quarantine and, and, and the virus and all that. So we're, in, we're inside the house. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right, Bob. Let's go and look at our schedule. Okay, Miss Sandy. Okay. So first, Bob, we are going to say hello. And we did that. Hi, everybody. And then we're going to have some conversation time chat time then we're going to have some circle time and then we're going to say goodbye how's that sound that sounds good Miss Sandy. now bob um in our conversation time right here right um how how are you doing you know it's how's this all going for you being inside oh miss sandy i'm so scared I'm so very scared. It's really scary being here. I, I, and, 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 and every time I hear the word virus, I get so scared. Okay, Bob. Well, you know what? I think I have something that might help you. The story about the virus. The virus? Yes, Bob. But I think it'll make you feel better. Okay? Let's go there and let's let's... Let's listen to this story. Hello, I am a virus. Cousins with the flu and the common cold. Okay. I love to travel and to jump from hand to hand to say hi. Okay. Have you heard about me? And then there's yes and no. Yes, I have. And how do you feel when you hear my name? Do you feel relaxed? No. Confused? A little. Worried? A lot. Curious? No. Nervous? Yeah. Sad? Well, yeah, because I don't get to see my friends. Okay, so you've got a lot of feelings going on, Bob. And that's okay. You are going to have feelings about this. And I can understand that you feel mostly, it seems, nervous. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? I think, um, and I would feel the same way. I feel nervous too, a little nervous. So why don't we take time and you can draw a picture of how you feel. Okay, Miss Sandy. It's a very nice drawing, Bob. Thank you, Miss Sandy. Yeah, sometimes when we draw how we feel, it, it can make us feel a little better. Yeah, I, I do feel a little better. Okay, good. Um, let's, let's find more about this virus. Sometimes adults get worried when they read the news or see me on the TV. And see, there's the picture of the virus there and the virus says, that's me. Mm hmm. But I'm going to explain myself so that you can understand. That would be good. Yeah. See, this says COVID-19. 
That's the name of the virus, you see. When I come to visit, I bring difficulty breathing, fever, cough. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah, it's a bit like a cold, hey? Oh. But I don't stay with people for long and almost everyone gets better. Just like when you get a scrape on your knee and it heals. Bye-bye. See, he goes. So it's not as scary as you might think. Don't you worry, the adults who take care of you, so that would be Miss Sandy, right, will keep you safe. And you can help by washing my hands with soap and water and singing a song. That's right, you can sing your favorite song, um, the happy birthday song or the alphabet song. I like the happy birthday song because that makes me feel happy in thinking about birthdays. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, by using hand sanitizer and letting it dry on your hands without moving and then counting to 10. Do you think you could do that, Bob? Oh, yes, I could. And once your hands are dry, you can get back to playing. That sounds good. Yeah. If you do all that, I will not come to visit. While the doctors work to find a vaccine, that will allow me to say hi without getting you sick. You see? So they're working on that right now and there's this little thing that says approved, which means the vaccine is, is approved and we can start using it. But it's not yet, right? We're just working on it. And that is the end. So there's a website here where you can download this. It's at www w.mindheart.co slash d-e-s-c-a-r-g-a-b-l-e-s and the author is Manuela, Manuela Molina Cruz. How's that sound, Bob? Well, I think that sounds good. It's not as scary as I thought. No, it's not as scary as you thought. Okay, that's awesome. Now, Let's think about what we had been working on before we had to stay at home, okay? So Bob, we've been working on sender and receiver. The sender sends the message to the receiver and the receiver demonstrates good listening, right? So we've been working on that. And you were really having problems listening, Bob. You were not looking at the speaker, you were moving your body a lot. So that was something that we've been working on. Okay, Bob? Miss Sandy, I have been thinking about being a good listener. And so, I wrote a song. That's right, Bob. You sang part of it the other day at Chatter. Yeah, I wrote the rest of it now. Okay, Bob, well, why don't you sing it? Okay, here goes. I can listen with my nose. I can listen with my toes. I can listen with my eyes. And I can listen while I eat fries. And when I listen, I think what the sender has to say. And I wonder if I think the same way. I can listen with my face. I can listen in one place. I can listen with my knees, and I can listen when I eat cheese. And when I listen, I think what the sender has to say, and I wonder, do I think the same way? I can listen with my nose, I can listen with my toes, I can listen with
with my eyes and I can listen. When are you fries? Bob, that was fantastic. Thank you, Miss Sandy. I thought about those things, like listening in one place so I'm not moving around. Face to face, I, I look at the speaker and uh, it's, it's fun listening. I like it and I think about what that others say to me. That's really good, Bob, and that's important too, right? Because if we're just looking at a person, but we're not really thinking about what they're saying, then we're not really listening, right? That's true, Miss Sandy. Good job. Yeah, I know. So, Bob, in this time, you know, I was thinking about things, you know, that we can do, right? Because I noticed that, well, yeah, Miss Sandy, you probably are going to say, you noticed sometimes I get bored. That's true, Bob. And so I thought maybe what we could do is make a schedule, okay? Oh, what a good idea. But first we'll brainstorm about all of the things that we can do in a day, like fun things, right? Oh, that sounds wonderful. Okay, so we are going to brainstorm. So, you know, thinking about those schedules, right? And we're gonna brainstorm about what we can do. And so let's think, let's put schedule up here at the top. Schedule, okay? And, you know, thinking about some of the things that we could do. Hmm, camera person, give me an idea. We could paint. We could paint. That's a very good idea, camera person. Yeah, what else could we do? We could make a snowman. We could make a snowman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, that's good. We can actually probably go sledding as long as there's not a lot of people on the hill, right? Mm -hmm. um, we could color. I'll put craft. We could play with toys, right? Now, Bob, in order to keep you interested what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put out all of Bob's toys out at once right like we'll rotate them so that you'll have different things to play with okay um, all right good um, we can go for a walk oh my goodness we could bake Any other ideas, Bob? Play-Doh, Miss Sandy. I love Play-Doh. Yeah. Play-Doh. That's a good one, Bob. Oh, Miss Sandy, what about books? Oh my goodness, we can read books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, we have actually lots of things we could do. What's another thing we could do? Miss Sandy, we could have a tea party. That's really thinking, Bob. That's thinking way outside of the box. I like it. We could have a tea party. Well, I like that idea. That keeps us busy. We could, oh, and we could make like little sandwiches for the tea party. What a great idea, Miss Sandy. I think that this is going to be fun for us. And you know, Bob, there's something else too that I thought of and that we are going to do for our chatter friends, a puppet show. And you know what? We can do a puppet show and then the kids at home can do puppet shows too. Yeah. 
Miss mean, Sandy, what if they don't have puppets? They could use socks, right? What a great idea, Miss Sandy. You know what else I was thinking, Bob? There's some things that we should do that I actually is just part of the routine, right? So I'm thinking, you know what, we should, I'm just gonna grab one of these because there's also other things that need to happen, okay? We need to have like breakfast, lunch, you know, we need to brush our teeth. These are important things, right? Those are kind of those routine things that we still need to think about when we think about our day, right? So I'll just um, brush teeth. I wanna put that up there because that's very important. And then, um, and then the other, the other ones are like, um, meals. Okay. So I'll just put that there so that we can, you know, and th that we remember, right. So that we're going to have this schedule and I think that's going to be awesome. Okay. Uh, now, so Bob, I think this idea will actually help you feel better about being at home. Uh, yeah, I think so too, Miss Sandy. Great. Hi everyone. We thought we'd start with our puppet show today as well. So, you have seen this before, but we're going to do it again. The three little pigs. Now, I'm wondering how many words is in that? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Awesome, okay, good, four words. All right, friends, I'm going to count to three. And from where you are, you can say the three little pigs. One, two, with a special Appearance from Peppa Pig. One, two, three. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there was a mom who had three lovely, beautiful pigs. Hello, mom. Hi, mom. Hello, mom. And they lived happily underneath a tree. But one day, Mama Pig realized it was time to let her babies go out into the world. Oh, babies, I love you. It is time for you to go out into the world and build your own homes. But remember, remember, of the big bad wolf. Okay, Mom, the big bad wolf. Oh, even when you say his name, we're just so scared. Be careful out there. Oh, and remember, your mummy loves you. Bye. So off the three little pigs went. out of straw. Building, building, building. I don't need a saw. No, I don't need a saw. Here I go. See you later. Bye, bye, brothers and sister. Brother and sister. Hmm. I'm going to build my house out of sticks. I see sticks. And glitter, glittery sticks. It's going to be beautiful. Help me out, my friends. I'm a building, building, building. A house out of sticks. Building, building, building. 
Oh, I don't need bricks. No, oh, I don't need bricks. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. See you later. Mm, I love it in here. It's so glittery. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to build my house out of bricks. Here I go. I'm building, building, building a house out of bricks. I'm building, building, building. I don't need sticks. No, I don't need sticks. Oh, look at it. It's so fantastic. I just love it. I think I'll just go inside and hmm, maybe have a nap in this wonderful little bed I made, you see? Isn't it beautiful? Ah. <laughs> All right then. Ah. Hmm. No sooner had the pigs snuggled in their houses when along came the big bad wolf. Ho! I'm the big bad, big bad wolf. Meanest thing that ever said wolf. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Meaner than a big old hog. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. I'm gonna go to this house and I want those that pig to come out of there. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I will not let you in. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. Will I blow the house up? No, I'm gonna blow the house down. Okay, here I go. Oh no, oh no. I must run to my sister's house. Open the door. Let me in. Oh, this is awful. The big wolf is coming. Oh no. Hmm. Where'd, where'd that pig go? Oh. Here I go. Uh, there they are. Uh, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in. Then I am going to huff, and I'm going to puff, and I'm going to blow your house down. Am I going to blow the house up? No. It's gonna go down, down, down. Here I go. Oh, oh no, oh dear, we must run. The house is falling apart, oh no. Oh, quickly, let's go to the brick house. Oh no, this is terrible, I'm stuck in here. Okay, uh, I'll just go to the next house. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair of a chinny chin chins. We will not let you in. Then I'm gonna have to huff, and I'm gonna have to puff, and I'm gonna blow your house in. I'm gonna blow it down. Here I go. This is exhausting. This isn't working very well. Uh, maybe I'll sing my song again. I'm the big, bad, big, bad wolf. 
meanest thing that ever said woof meaner than a junkyard dog meaner than a big old hog stop that right now i've had enough of you being such a big bully oh it's mama pig you have been so mean to my little pigs and that's just enough of it well well i just wanted them to come out and play well, you blew down their houses. That is enough of that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, but still, they should have let me in. <gasps> this is enough of you. You must go to charm school. Come out, little pigs. He won't hurt you. I'm here. Oh, mommy. Oh. That was a good idea. That was a very good idea to build a house of bricks. It cannot be blown down easily, so I'm very proud of you. Oh, there's a nice bed in there. Oh, okay, come out, little pigs. Now, uh, you are going to go to charm school. Did you hear me? You are going to go to charm school. <sighs> All right. And so the wolf went to charm school. He learned manners how to speak in a kinder tone, how to greet people kindly and nicely, how to be respectful and make polite conversation. And he came back after six months of working on his manners. Fast forward. Well, hello, Mother Pig. It's lovely to see you. You're looking very nice today. Why, thank you, Wolf. My babies are still quite afraid of you. Well, I will be very polite with them. Um, would you like to play? Uh, we can play pig in the middle and I'll be the pig. Um, I don't know. Mom, what do you think? Well, let's try it. He's been to charm school and I'm noticing that his voice is very, very, very smooth. So I think it's fine. And so they played Pig in the Middle and other such games. And that is the end. Okay, so um, Bob, we have uh, done a lot uh, today in Chatter. We said hello. Um, we had our conversation time and talked about the virus and things like that. And then we also in circle, we did things like thought of things that we could do. And we, um, also had a puppet show and now it's time for us to say goodbye. Okay. So, uh, good, goodbye everyone. It's so nice to have this time together. Take care. And have fun. I'm going to give you a little bit of homework. What I'd like you to do is draw a picture of how it feels like to be at home and with the knowledge of the coronavirus, like Bob did when he, after the social story. And then I'd also like you to do some brainstorming about things that you can do just like Bob and I did. Bye everyone and have a great day.